Meet Romulus and his brother from another mother, Remus, raised by humans and genetically modified to resemble dire wolves, creatures that haven't existed in more than 10,000 years. We went from kind of the 73,000-year-old skull and the 13,000-year-old tooth to puppies in about 18 months. Studying those ancient fossils, Colossal Biosciences edited the genes of modern gray wolves to birth three pups, an example of de-extinction using a marquee species. Uh, run to the litter. That one's yours, Snow. <laughs> yes, inspired by scenes like this, though resurrecting extinct animals might bring another comparison. This is some species that was obliterated by deforestation or, or the building of a dam. Dinosaurs. Uh, uh, had their shot. What Colossal made is 99% gray wolf. It acknowledges that, but says this is to inspire and develop new tech to help conservation efforts. There's human ingenuity out there that we can apply to helping protect species, to slow the rate of biodiversity loss and potentially reverse it. Critics say the ethical challenges go beyond the care of these creatures to the door this kind of experiment opens. It kind of feeds this belief that technology is going to save us from all of the mistakes we've made to mess up the planet. Um, so, you know, we shouldn't worry about extinction because we can always just go back and recreate those animals. Conservation experts also say it may distract from what we do have on this planet. We don't have uh, dire wolf, but we have tigers, <laughs> we have lions, we have wolves themselves. We have these great predators uh, ranging this earth which are in trouble and need our help. For now, the company says Romulus and Remus will live on a secluded 2,000-acre property. And it says it's still moving ahead with the next goal, bringing back a woolly mammoth and a dodo. Or at least, what looks like them. Anand Ram, CBC News, Toronto.